Hi, my name is Karen Berg, and I have served for the past five years as the Editor-in-Chief of the Journal of Histotechnology. Histotechnology is the technology associated with the field of histology. And so you might ask, what is histology? Well, histology is the study of tissues and cells. And that's a fairly broad uh, statement to, to make, so I'd like to explain that a bit further. Studying a cell or a tissue could mean a basic scientist in a lab wanting to know more about the interaction between cancer cells and normal healthy stem cells and how a disease may or may not evolve from that interaction. Um, studying tissues and cells could also mean pa the pathology associated with a medical diagnosis of a condition or a disease in a hospital. So in other words, a clinician who takes a biopsy of tissue from a patient uh, then sends it to the pathology lab where it is evaluated, the cellular structure, or perhaps a special stain is applied to be able to identify certain cell types, the presence or absence of certain cell types, so that a diagnosis can be made. The study of cells and tissues can also apply to biomedical engineering. So engineers that design medical implants, such as knee implants or hip implants, or engineered tissues for replacement of damaged or diseased organs. All of these types of implants have to be designed such that they integrate with the body. So the engineer would be interested in assessing the interaction of tissues with their designed implant in order to evaluate whether or not the design needs further improvement. So as you can hopefully see, it's a very exciting area, the area of histotechnology that affects medical care. And so essentially this affects everybody. So really everybody should be um, very interested in the, in the content of, of this particular journal. The journal is a little bit different from most journals in that it was founded and constructed by the members of the National Society for Histotechnology, initially for the members of the National Society for Histotechnology. And so it was a group of individuals with similar interests that really had a need to disseminate information to one another, and they needed a formalized mechanism for doing so. And so the journal was created, and it has grown beyond the bounds of the society itself, the National Society for Histotechnology. In fact, as I mentioned, it has impact on society, on all of us, on medical care. And so it's exciting because it is such a, a, a well-supported journal that is of such personal interest to the members of the National Society for Histotechnology but has application to so many other individuals. Um, accordingly, we're particularly pleased to be working with Maney Publishing to disseminate the information found in the journal more broadly. For the past 34 years, the journal has been accessible in print copy only. And so now, with uh, Maney Publishing, the journal is available, both present, future, and past issues are, are or, or will be available electronically. And so if you think about it, 34 years, there's an enormous wealth of information contained in those archives. So it's a terribly huge opportunity uh, for, us to, um, for us to work with, with many publishing in this, in this aspect. I was a student many years ago, and one of the first uh, journal publications that I was involved in was a publication in the Journal of Histotechnology. And for me, as a first-time author, it was a particularly confusing process. I had never been through the publishing process before. And so one of my co-authors was a histologist who was a member of the National Society for Histotechnology who guided me through the process and really took a lot of the fear out of the entire, um, the entire process. And so it was particularly exciting and rewarding to see my first publication in, in the journal. And so with that in mind, we've constructed, or with that type of experience in mind, we've constructed a partnership called the Writing Partnership Program, wherein would-be first-time authors are matched with an editorial board member who then guides them through the process, the publishing process, serves as a sounding board, and gives, them gives the, the would-be first-time author constructive criticism regarding their manuscript prior to submission of the manuscript uh, when it's sent out for formal review. 
And so, again, although we're, we're terribly excited about expanding the bounds and the reach of the Journal of Histotechnology, we also remain very committed to, to in, the inclusion of first-time authors and a diversity of authors, because we feel that regardless of publishing experience, everyone has something to, to offer the journal, and we value that contribution. So I hope you will consider contributing either as an author, as a subscriber, or as a reviewer, and I look forward to working with each of you.